Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on Interactionist Theories of Crime and Deviance, focusing on the work of Howard Becker. Howard Becker may be known to students who've done education for his work on labelling theory in the education system and the impacts labelling had on students, but Becker also examined the impacts of labelling on crime. Becker's work, The Outsiders, is seen as a seminal piece of work into the role of labelling in the area of crime and deviance. Most notable from his work was Becker's assertion that acts are only deviant because society deems them to be deviant, which links into the idea of crime and deviance being a social construction. Becker suggested that individuals do not see themselves as deviant when they commit the act. It is only the reactions of others that label them or the act committed as deviant. Well, how can this be? If we use the example of sports, if a brawl breaks out in ice hockey or even a rugby match, people do not see that as being a deviant activity. Rather, they would see that as the passion of the game overflowing. However, if those actions were repeated on the high street, it would be deemed as a deviant activity. The same actions, depending upon the reactions of those observing it, mark it out as being deviant. For those involved in the brawl, whether during sports or in another public domain, the act itself is not deviant. It may not even reflect the characteristics of those taking part, but it is the reactions of those watching that make it a deviant activity. For Becker, once the initial activity has been deemed deviant, a label is attached to those that have committed the act. They are labelled as some form of deviant. Labels such as violent, thief or junkie could be attached to an individual based upon their actions and particularly with deviant behaviours, this overrides all other characteristics that the person labelled possesses. It becomes a master status, and one that changes the way in which others interact with the person who has been labelled. If we consider how labelling works in action, the initial act of deviance, for example stealing from somebody, leads to that individual being labelled. That label then becomes their master status. Regardless of how trustworthy, hardworking or generous the person is, the label of thief overrides these qualities and people react by distrusting them. This can impact on their future opportunities, with employers making judgments on the person based upon his master status, and as criminal records are often disclosed on job applications, this blocks opportunities for them to be part of society. This leaves the labelled individual with little option but to gravitate towards others who had been labelled negatively and towards a deviant career. As the individual is marginalised by mainstream society, they identify with others with deviant careers, and this gives them a sense of their own identity. The result is further deviance and a self-fulfilling prophecy of criminality based upon the initial label of thief. Becker suggests that labelling also impacts on the creation of laws. When an activity is criminalised, this leads to a deviant label being applied to those that take part in this activity. Becker investigated this by looking at the process of criminalising marijuana usage in 1930s USA. With the recent repeal of prohibition laws, moral entrepreneurs looked to find an alternative substance to criminalise, one whose consumption went against traditional American values of sobriety, Christianity and hard work. As a consequence of their moral crusade, marijuana was criminalised and those who used it were labelled as deviant. In evaluating Becker, we find that his research focused on the underdogs in society, a core idea of interactionist approaches, and it gave sociologists a greater understanding into the stigmatisation of criminals. However, he did little to explain how the initial criminal activity occurred, or comment on the impacts of crime on the real victims. Becker romanticised deviants as being victims of wider society, yet did not acknowledge why they turned to crime in the first place. That concludes this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on interactionist theories of crime and deviance, looking at the work of Howard Becker. Thanks for watching.